I take care of patients with all varieties of liver disease, but my area of clinical and research interest is in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a liver problem bought, brought on by the metabolic syndrome, meaning things like weight, diabetes or insulin resistance, cholesterol or high blood pressure. These factors conspire to deposit fat in the liver, which can lead to inflammation and then scarring in the liver. Well, we talk about a variety of things. One, we talk about the risks factors for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And those include, one, lack of consumption of significant amounts of alcohol, and then the metabolic syndrome risk factors like weight, diabetes, cholesterol, and high blood pressure. And we first talk about controlling risk factors through medical management of diabetes and high blood pressure, but also through lifestyle interventions like healthy eating programs and activity. The long-term consequences of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease include continued collection of fat within the liver with ongoing inflammation that can lead to deposition of scar tissue. If a person collects too much scar tissue in the liver, that becomes cirrhosis of the liver. Once a patient develops cirrhosis, they're at risk for a variety of complications like liver cancer, uh, fluid in the stomach called ascites, bleeding, or confusion related to liver disease as well too. Treatment for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is challenging. Currently, in April of 2023, there are no FDA-approved medications to treat non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So currently, we have to focus on lifestyle intervention. Lifestyle intervention can be challenging. Many patients that I see knew that they needed to lose weight before they came to see me. So we focus on how to make advice like weight loss real and actionable. In order to do this, we work with a variety of other professionals, including a behavioral therapist and a nutritionist to help patients achieve their weight loss goals. The UNC Liver Center offers a multidisciplinary approach for the treatment of fatty liver disease. And this includes seeing a hepatologist where we can assess the severity of liver disease through both non-invasive means like transient elastography or providing liver biopsy for the correct patient. We can also use our multidisciplinary approach, which again includes our nutritionist, where patients can get real-world dietary advice. There's so much misinformation out there on the internet that patients often need sort of grounded, real-world practical advice. Additionally, we have behavioral therapy that we use through our clinical psychologist. And what the behavioral therapist can do is two different things. One, they can help patients with adherence, adherence to dietary regimens, adherence to exercise programs. But they can also focus on the whole patient, looking for factors that may lead to maladaptive coping strategies like emotional eating or eating out of boredom. And so by using the behavioral therapist and the nutritionist, we can focus on lifestyle goals. We can also work with our clinical pharmacists for the medical management of weight loss using a variety of medications used for both diabetes and weight loss and apply these to our patients with fatty liver disease, again, to try to help them achieve their weight loss goals. So we're involved in a wide variety of research programs in liver disease in general, but also in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Currently, we participate in a variety of phase two and phase three industry-sponsored clinical trials for the treatment of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. While there are no currently available FDA therapies, we're looking to have these available soon, and it's only through work with clinical trials that we'll be able to provide these new therapies. We also participate in a variety of observational trials where we try to learn more about the natural history of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a very heterogeneous disease where some people have very mild disease and other people will advance to cirrhosis of the liver and even need for liver transplant. And trying to figure out which patients will advance and which patients will, will not have any problems is part of our research focus.